Okay, I'm going to be making a bonding slurry here. Uh, and a slurry is preferential to just using a uh, straight bonding agent, which can create a, um, a plane for delaminating between the layers. Uh, so to avoid that, what you want to do is you want to mix them into a paste with Portland cement. Now, in this uh, instance, I'm going to be using an acrylic fortifier. Uh, this product is going to be beneficial because this this um, concrete bonding application is going to be for an underwater application and as a result I'm going to need something that's going to be able to stand up to uh, the hydrostatic pressure more so than the other style. This is, a, this is thin. This bonding agent is the thin one like milk as opposed to the thick one like a white glue. The white glue one is very easy to use, very user friendly. It's called a universal bonding agent. This one here is a little bit more technical of a product, uh, but ultimately if you're going to be doing something that is going to be exposed to constant water, the thicker white glue product is not ideal for the application. You want to go with a, an acrylic latex product here, um, and I'm going to show you how to make that bonding slurry now. So the optimal uh, liquid content here is going to be 50% water, 50% of this acrylic fortifier. So this is about uh, one liter here. So I'm going to go ahead and add half of that into our bucket here. So I want 50% of my liquid content to be this acrylic fortifier. So we've got about 500 milliliters in there now, half a liter. And then I've got 500 mils of water. So now I'm going to have equal parts water and the acrylic latex there. Now, all you're going to do is add Portland powder to this. And that's what I've got in this bucket here. It's just some regular old Portland powder. And the amount that you add, more so than a measured quantity, is going to be how much can we add to achieve the desired consistency that we're looking for. And what, what we're looking for in terms of consistency is somewhere in between warm butter but not quite fully liquid yet. That's kind of what we're aiming for here with this consistency such that we can brush this bonding slurry on with a, a you can use a paint brush or you can use a, a masonry brush like this. This is good for dunking in water and applying water to your concrete to, to uh, achieve the uh, saturation or surface dry. Uh, basically all of your concrete has to be damp before you apply the bonding slurry. You never want to apply a bonding slurry over a dry concrete, so you can use this brush to throw around some water, get your concrete nice and damp, and then when your bonding slurry is ready, when you're ready to apply your new concrete over your old concrete, you can dunk this into the slurry and paste it on, and then apply your new concrete over that. So I'm going to keep going here. Still a little bit watery, so I'm going to add some more Portland. Once you have the slurry all mixed up, <clears throat> it will actuate or become hard faster than normal concrete that you might be used to working with. And you would definitely want to take care, you never want to leave your bucket of slurry sitting out in the sun or something like that. You always want to cover it or provide it some shade and that way you can get the maximum amount of working time out of it before you find that it's hard in your bucket and you need to make another. Alright, so I've got something that I think is... Maybe not 100%, but I think we're pretty good here. So, <clears throat> as you can see, it's almost self-leveling. It's really like a quite a liquidy product. Take a look down inside there. So I'm going to spend another couple of minutes, uh, maybe even take my drill and uh, whip attachment and send it through here to get this all this Portland broken down. Once you've got it all creamy, all mixed together in some kind of consistency similar to what you see here, then you would take your brush 
dunk it in the slurry, paste it onto your old damp concrete, and that's how you make a bonding slurry. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video, and you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.